Hello, today we are going to be finishing our Native American Tribe lap book. What you will need today is your file folder, your glue, pencil. You won't really need your coloring pencils today unless you want to add a little detail around. It's up to you. And your scissors. So we're going to go ahead and pull off our final page. Pull it off. Okay, you are going to move your folder away for just a moment and your glue out of the way. So what I am going to do is I am going to cut close to the edge. We don't actually have to separate all the parts today. We are going to keep them together as much as we can. So we're going to bubble cut around them. And obviously, it's the directions at the bottom, so you're going to find a classmate, but we're not going to do that. We have um, we have a different plan. So so today in reading, you had to compare your tribe with one of the other two tribes that we were learning about. So you had to look at information from the Yoku, the Chumash, and the Paiute, okay? So you are going to utilize the chart to actually pull the information into the similarity and difference charts for climate, housing, and resources. So up at the top, you are actually going to write the name of your tribe. My tribe is Chumash. And then choose one of the other tribes to compare to. So I'm going to choose the Paiute. I spelled that wrong. Go figure. See, teachers make mistakes too. There we go. Got it right this time. So you're going to utilize the chart and the information you collected during reading today, and you're going to fill out how these two tribes are similar in climate and how are they different in climate. How did they have similar housing? How was their housing similar? Maybe they didn't look the same, but maybe they used the same materials. And then how are they different? Maybe they were different in outward appearance. And then finally, the resources that they used to survive off of. How were they similar? And how were they different? Okay, once you fill that out, you are going to glue this on the back of your folder. So, you're going to grab your glue. Make sure you get the glue on those corners. I always do my edges really, really good so that it doesn't peel up. Because sometimes, I don't know if you've noticed, Glue sticks, they peel off a little, so make sure that you get those edges very good. And then you'll put your completed assignment on the back of your folder. If you want to go in and use your color pencils and color around or draw little pictures of how they are similar and different, you can do that. The choice is up to you. But when you are through with that, if everything is colored thoroughly and done, then you are done with your entire project. Congratulations! You just learned all this information about your Native American tribe. Now you're going to use this information to complete a Google Slides project for the remainder of the week.